Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So yesterday my official Willy's Wonderland prequel comics came, the variant of issue 1. So at this point I've made a good few videos talking about the Willy's Wonderland comics, the cover reveals and whatnot. There's been multiple variants for each cover, there's been two issues revealed so far and multiple variants for each. So here um, we've got issue 1 and then two of the variants. Now I already opened these, I actually received this yesterday but I was really busy yesterday so I didn't have the time to like do an unboxing video on it so i just unboxed it off camera but here's a recreation i'm basically always like all right uh remember this has been this isn't properly sealed i've already got these before so i i come home from school i come in whoa a package it says forbidden planet i know exactly what this is then i open this up yeah 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 i open this up and oops what the hell have i done yeah, why is this open Oh, oh, that's why, sorry. Um, so yeah, I opened it. Whoa, look, they're in a bag. It's transparent. Oh, oh, whoops, whoops. Um, whoa, and then here they are. All right, so here we've got three of the four Willy's Wonderland prequel comic issue one variants. So firstly, we've got the awesome main cover. Here it is in person. Awesome happiness in person because it's been a few months now since I've saw this. So of course, you've got Willy and Ozzy with all of the gory mayhem. You can see tearing someone's head off with their spine and gore everywhere. So you have the killer animatronics, obviously. Um, and then you've got the details up on the top. Um, here we have... That was the... This is the main cover one, by the way. Here we have one of the variants. This one is just called the Variant Edition. This is the first one that was ever revealed, actually. This one was revealed back in June. And it showcases every animatronic minus 90 here. The audience. And then this decapitated head. And then the last one, which could be the coolest one, is the Limited Edition variant. So if you were paying attention, you would have saw that the other ones costed $3.99 and $4.99, whilst this one is $9.99. So this one is two times the price, and it's also a limited edition one. So there isn't going to be as many of these around, and they're not going to be around for as long as the other ones. So the back of them all look the same. There's just promotions for um, other comics produced by the same company. See, if you go in here, you can see other awesome comics in here. Now, I'm not going to show every single page because I'm not sure if I'll be allowed to because these are paid for comics and I don't think I'll be able to just show every single page to YouTube, but um, here's what the first one looks like. Uh, you can already see what you're getting into with a birthday cake made out of the entrails of a deceased child, so yep. <laughs> Um, I, I did flick for it. I didn't read it all, but I did flick for it. I'm going to read it in a moment. Um, it's crazy. And you've got an interview at the back here and whatnot. There's some really ep epic stuff back here. Look at this. You've got some Aussie concept art. A letter from Tex. You've just got so much cool stuff in here. So on the very back page, you can see here are all the different variants for issue one. So I've got three of the four of them. Here's the main cover, the variant edition, the limited edition, slasher time edition. And these are the three I have. And then here's the fourth one, the century edition. So if you watched my other videos talking about these comics, you would have heard me talk about the century edition. It is extremely rare. It is limited to only 100 copies and it has a retail of like $30. So it's like six times the retail of the normal one and there's only a hundred prints of them so it's going to be an extremely hard variant to find so yeah these comics are actually really really cool very very high quality indeed and the artwork looks awesome i love the art style indeed and you know, the whole you know you, you can just look by looking at the cover already kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting into and as judging by the main cover of the first issue as well as the main cover of the second issue it's just gonna be like a huge crazy you know wacky gore fast so i'm gonna give it a read it shouldn't take too long because it's a relatively short comic book so i'll be back in about 10 minutes and i'll give a quick review of it i'm not gonna show all the pages running though but i will do a quick review on it all right everyone i'm back so i just read it it's a relatively short read about 15 minutes to still take you so let's talk about it so yeah, it was actually a very very good read now it was relatively short as i just said it was just over 20 pages long and basically what it went over is firstly it was like showing the past of the murders that happened before it closed this was back in 1984 when the original ways one that opened and then two years later of course it reopens and then thrown in there as well is the backstory behind jerry and if you remember from the ways wonderland movie and jerry was the main killer and then he did the suicide ritual and whatnot and then he possessed swilly See, it's really awesome because this comic actually shows us, you know, the psychotic actions that Jerry took before performing the suicide ritual and then possessing Willie. 
So yeah, basically, it starts off with the pizza raid from 1984. It showcases, like, a lot of the murders that happened that caused it to shut down. Then it shows cuts to a couple of years later where it's the reopening, and then a bunch of things go wrong, like a lot of, you know, suspicious, out-of-the-ordinary occurrences happen. And then in between there, like, once every, like, two or three pages or so, uh, the page is about the lore of Jerry. So yeah, the art style is really well done. I really like the art style, and it's also very, very well drawn as well. Something super nice is there's also reoccurring human characters from the movie, like Officer Lund is in there, Tex and Jed is in there as well. Now I did enjoy the entire comic, but my favourite part of all was definitely the lore and the backstory of Jerry. It was very interesting, and you know, he's a very good serial killer, they betray him as being quite a good serial killer. He's a psychopath, he's a sociopath, and he has no regret for any of the evil actions he commits. Oh, and something else I noticed, originally when it was first revealed on top of it, of course the price didn't change or anything, but it was rated teen, but now in the final release of it, they've changed it to mature, so they've actually upped the rating a bit, so it's now a mature rated comic. So yeah, there is quite a lot of gore in here, there is quite a lot of gore actually, lots of blood, organs, and whatnot. You've also got some sexually applied scenes and swearing and whatnot. Obvi it's not intended for kids, obviously, it's meant to be intended for adults, so yeah, it is a very good read, however. Now really my only problem with it was just kind of the way that it was portrayed, you know, like the way the events lined up, what, because the, what they did is they had a page of the Jerry backstory like once every two pages, it would keep like cutting between, you know, what's happening at the reopening of the pizzeria and then it would cut back to the, you know, flashbacks to what Jerry used to do. I would have thought it would have been so much better just to have the entire jerry like backstory and then just have it be the entirety of the reopening of the page array rather than cutting between the two i just think it would have been a lot more organized and easy to follow with you know so yep there you have it all three of the variants of the willies wonderland comics now i really want to try and get my hands on the century edition it'll be so nice to have especially since it's so limited and rare i really really want to get it I'm not sure if i will be able to get it because of how limited and expensive and rare it is but i'll try my hardest to do um, now next month, issue 2 is meant to be coming out, so I'll be back then with that, and that's going to be awesome as well. So yep, I totally recommend picking these up, and I'm going to try and get every single variant, because I'm actually going to try and collect every single issue with every single variant, I think that'll be super cool. So, although this comic is relatively short, you've also got some more awesome stuff in there as well, like you've got letters and sketch images and whatnot, and there's like a full free page interview in there, which could keep you you know, occupied for quite some time. So yep, there you have it, the official Willy's Wonderland prequel comics, issue one. These are out now, they're actually still quite new. They just came out like a week ago or so, so try to get them when you can. Especially this slasher time edition. Oops. Especially try and get the slasher time edition, a limited edition, if you want to pick this one up because it's a limited edition and I'm not sure how long it's going to be around for.